Hey everyone, thank you for joining me with another episode from European Motors. If you're an Audi fan, you cannot miss this video. We're going to be taking a look at the new announcement by Audi to put more RS models into the US market. So let's take a look at what they're going to do. Now RS stands for Racing Sport and the sport division of Audi is the one who makes these vehicles and we know that there is of course the RS5 but not many other RS vehicles that are currently in production. You know from years back we had the RS4 and the older RS6 as well but now there is not much RS going around but Audi of course is going to change that. Let's look at a couple models here. The RS TT is going to be coming out. That is confirmed. And look at this. Look at this gorgeous car. If you're a fan of the TT, this will be a very welcome addition. Now look at this. You can look at the engine here and you can see the five cylinders. Very, very interesting makeup here. Of course, everything is moving to the turbo aspect. And you know RS is the most extreme form that Audi goes to. You have the normal A class and then you move up to the S class and then the RS which is the head honcho of everything. Now you can see the RS3. This is one that is going to be coming out. The smallest four-door that is made right now. That used to be the A4 but now that is not true with the RS3. This is gonna be a little jumpy quick car. Look at this. Very very cool. Moving down alongside the pictures Let's move on the inside of some of these vehicles. They're of course going to be really crazy. Look at this RS5. Look at the interior and the, what do you got here? The hexagon stitching. Very, very beautiful. Very, very good look. Audi always pays attention to detail. Look at the rims on this car and RS5. Look at this, the updated version of this car. It's going to be so gorgeous and I myself can't wait to see these on the road. Now if you're in Europe right now, you know that we in the United States here are jealous of all of you because you have a lot of the cool models that are unrestricted and have so much cool features compared to the US because we have such a restrictive ordinance for what vehicles can come here. However, Audi's going to change that as I said with the RS models that are unavailable that will now become available. So we're going to move up on the ladder guys. Apparently according to this, there are going to be eight new RS models announced that are coming in the next two years. Now this article is pretty good because it explains the difference between the RS models, the S, and the two R models. Of course the R8 and the R8 Spider being the fleet flagship models of the Audi company. You have the interesting S8 Plus that is not a part of the RS sport line and that's because if you read this article, it's very interesting. Steven Rail talks about it. He's the head guy of Audi Sport and he says that the car has to be really, really aggressive in terms of look and performance and the S8 isn't quite there yet and so they don't want to classify it as an RS8. However, if you move down here, you see a lot of other vehicles that are going to be put into this category. A few that I mentioned, the TTRS and the RS3. Of course the RS5 will continue and that is great news for people who love that vehicle as well. Now that leaves a few other models, five more. They know that the new Audi A4 and the S4 will be on the market and so an RS4 would be a natural thing to bring back. Now that's exciting for lots of people because people love the 08, 07, 08 RS4s. Those are beautiful, beautiful vehicles. Now listen to this guys and gals. This is a crazy thing. The RS3 Sportsback, a TT RS Roadster, an RS Q3, an RS6 Avant. These are all cars that they believe will be announced. According to this, these models are already announced for the US. So the RS3 Sportsback, the RST Roadster, very very cool and these are going to come to the shores. Of course the wagon aging A6, they think that an RS6 Avant may come which Avant you know is the wagon or the station wagon size and that's just a really interesting thing but who knows we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Now of course this is all speculation but if you're the fan of the crossover SUVs, again these are rumored, these are not confirmed yet but they believe the RSQ3 will be available since it's available overseas and RSQ5, could you imagine that? Because we, I've already seen the SQ5s around, but an RSQ5, that would be really interesting to see. And of course, there are a few pictures here on some of the vehicles. But what do you think about this, guys and gals? What do you think about 
all these RS models brought to the US. So they're overkilling this. Are they making this too much? Or are they just making the market overfilled with Audis? Let me know what you think, because part of what people like about Audi and the RS models were that there's very exclusive and there's not a lot of them. Now there's gonna be eight coming. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and we'll see you all next time. Let's be friends You only need what's best for you and not them